This article refers to the ideology that asserts Punjabi cultural solidarity. For the militant separatist movement aimed at creating an independent Sikh country, see Khalistan. Punjabi nationalism is a point of view that asserts that Punjabis are a nation and promotes the cultural unity of Punjabis and the diverse ethnic people who inhabit the ethno-linguistic region of the Punjab. Baba Sheikh Farid is considered as the father of Punjabi nationalism. Baba Bulla Shah wrote Kafis, Waris Shah wrote Heer Ranja and Bai Veer Singh modern Punjabi literature have immense contribution to Punjabi Boli. Rise of Punjabi nationalism The act of uniting by natural affinity and attraction of the various tribes, castes and the inhabitants of the Punjab into a broader common Punjabi identity with grooming of Punjabi nationalism started from the onset of the 18th century, when the Sikh empire with secular Punjabi rule was established by the Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Prior to that the sense and perception of a common Punjabi ethnocultural identity and community did not exist, even though the majority of the various communities of the Punjab had long shared linguistic, cultural and racial commonalities. Actually, after capturing and conquering the Punjab by the Mahmud Ghaznavi in 1022 after defeating the Raja Tarnokalpal, from centuries, Punjab was under continuous attack by the foreign Muslim invaders. Before invasions of Ahmad Shah Durrani, the Mughals were the invaders of Punjab. Punjabi tribes, castes and the inhabitants of Punjab revolted against them, but in a personal capacity and without uniting by the natural affinity of Punjabi people. However, Punjabi Sufi saints were in a struggle to awaken the consciousness of the people of Punjab. Guru Nanak condemned the theocracy of Mughal rulers and was arrested for challenging the acts of barbarity of the Mughal emperor Babar. Shah Hussain approved Dulla Bhatti's revolt against Akbar as, Kahay Hussain Fakhr Sain da, Takht na Milde Munge. During the late 18th century, due to lacking in unity by the natural affinity of the various tribes, castes and the inhabitants of the Punjab into a broader common, Punjabi, identity, after the decline of the Mughal Empire, led the Punjab region into a lack of governance. In 1747, the Durrani Empire was established by the Ahmad Shah Abdali in Afghanistan, therefore, Punjab saw frequent invasions by the Ahmad Shah Abdali. The great Punjabi poet Baba Waris Shah said of the barbaric and brutal situation that, Kada Pita Lahi Da, Baki Ahmad Shahi Da. We have nothing with us except what we eat and wear, all other things are for Ahmad Shah. In the result of spiritual grooming and moral character building of Punjabi people by the Punjabi saints and Punjabi poets like, Baba Farid 12th-13th century, Damodar 15th century, Guru Nanak Dev 15th-16th century, Guru Angad 16th century, Guru Amar Das 15th-16th century, Guru Ram Das 16th century, Shah Hussain 16th century, Guru Arjan Dev 16th-17th century, Bai Gurdas 16th-17th century, Sultan Bahu 16th-17th 17th century, Guru Teg Bahadur 17th century, Guru Gobind Singh 17th century, Salah Muhammad Safori 17th century, Bulla Shah 17th 18th century, Waris Shah 18th century and due to frequent invasions by the foreign invaders, at last, by the Ahmad Shah Abdali, stimulated the natural affinity of Punjabi people, taught the lesson to the various tribes, castes and the inhabitants of the Punjab and forced them to unite into a broader common, Punjabi, identity. Therefore, Punjabi nationalism started to initiate in the people of the land of five rivers to defend their land, to protect their wealth, to save their culture and retain their respect by ruling their land and governing the people of their nation by their own self. In the late 18th century, during frequent invasions of the Durrani Empire, the Sikh missiles were in close combat with the Durrani Empire, but they began to gain territory and eventually the Bangi Misl captured the Lahore. When Zaman Shah invaded Punjab again in 1799, Maharaja Ranjit Singh was able to make gains in the chaos. He defeated Zaman Shah in a battle between Lahore and Amritsar. Lahore was a Muslim Punjabi community and Hindu Punjabi community majority city, but the citizens of Lahore encouraged by Sada Kaur offered him the city and Maharaja Ranjit Singh was able to take control of it in a series of battles with the Bangi Misl and their allies. 
Beside the fact that, in 1800 century, religious ratio of Punjabi people in Punjab was 48% Muslim Punjabis, 43% Hindu Punjabis, 8% Sikh Punjabis and 1% others, but due to attraction of the various tribes, castes and the inhabitants of the Punjab into a broader common Punjabi identity and uniting by natural affinity of Punjabi nationalism. Punjab was a secular regime, Punjabi was a secular nation and after throwing out the Muslim Mughal invaders of Punjab from Delhi, India and Muslim Afghan invaders of Punjab from Kabul, Afghanistan, a Sikh Punjabi, Maharaja Ranjit Singh was the ruler of Punjab, which provided the boost to the already initiated Punjabi nationalism. <laughs> Fall of Punjabi nationalism Maharaja Ranjit Singh made Lahore his capital and expanded the Sikh empire to the Khyber Pass and also included Jammu and Kashmir in it. He was also successful in keeping the British from expanding across the river Sutlej for more than 40 years. After his death in 1839 the internecine fighting between the Sikhs and several rapid forfeitures of territory by his sons, along with the intrigues of the Dagras and two Anglo-Sikh wars, eventually led to British control of the Lahore Darbar in 1849. As, after Bengali nation and Hindi Urdu speaking up, CP people of Gunja Jumna culture, Punjabi was the third biggest nation in South Asia and for the British, Punjab was a frontier province of British India because, Punjab had boundaries with Afghanistan, Russia, and China. Therefore, to rule the South Asia, the prime factor for the British rulers was to control the Punjab by dominating or eliminating the Punjabi nation. British rulers were well aware of the fact that, they succeeded to capture the Punjab but they has not concurred the Punjabi nation. Therefore, British rulers imposed martial law in Punjab to govern Punjab and due to a fear from Punjabi nationalism, British rulers started to eliminate the Punjabi nation into fractions by switching over the characteristics of Muslim Punjabi, Hindu Punjabi, and Sikh Punjabi from affinity of nation to emotions of religion. For demolishing the nationalism and promoting the religious fundamentalism in the Punjab, British rulers, not allowed the Punjabis to use their mother tongue as an educational and official language. Therefore, the British rulers first introduced the Urdu as an official language in Punjab and they brought the Urdu-speaking Muslim mullahs and Hindi-speaking Hindu pundits from UP, CP to Punjab for the purpose of educational teaching of Punjabi people along with, UP, CP bureaucracy, an establishment for the purpose of Punjab administration. It resulted in the supremacy of UP ITES and UP ITE mindsets in policy making and decision taking in national affairs and foreign relationship of Punjabi nation, managed, motivated and sponsored by the British rulers to eliminate the Muslim, Sikh, Hindu and Christian Punjabis into different religions and languages to secure their rule over last captured land and martial race of the subcontinent. As a result, the Punjabi nation became a socially and politically depressed and deprived nation due to the domination of Urdu-Hindi language, the hegemony of Gunja Jumna culture and the supremacy of UP ITE traditions. However, beside all the efforts of British rulers to demolish and eliminate the Punjabi nation, due to struggle of Punjabi nationalists during British rule in India, beside the dissimilarity of religion, because of natural affinity on ground of similar language, culture and tradition, Muslim Punjabi, Hindu Punjabi, Sikh Punjabi and Christian Punjabi were still a nation. Religion was a personal subject for building the moral character and spiritual development for the life of the hereafter. Punjabi nationalism was a subject for the worldly life affairs. Whereas, clans moreover, communities were the institutions for social interaction and charity work. Punjab was a secular region, the Punjabi language was a respectable language, Punjabi culture was an honourable culture and the Punjabi nation was a wealthy nation in the British India. In the 19th century, due to politics of Congress, dominated by the Hindi-speaking, UP ITE Hindu leaders of UP, CP, Hindu Punjabis started to prefer the Hindi language instead of Punjabi by declaring the Hindi as a language of Hindus and started to become clones of Gunja Jumna culture and traditions with the loss of their own Punjabi identity. Later on, Muslim Punjabis did the same and started to become the clones of Gunja Jumna culture and traditions with the loss of their own Punjabi identity, because of preferring the Urdu language upon Punjabi by declaring the Urdu as a language of Muslims, due to the influence of the Muslim League, dominated by the Urdu-speaking, UP ITE Muslim leaders of UP, CP and presence of UP ITE Muslims in Punjab. 
As a consequence of preferring Hindi language by Hindu Punjabis by declaring the Hindi as a language of Hindus and preferring the Urdu language by the Muslim Punjabis by declaring the Urdu as a language of Muslims, the characteristics of assimilation to accomplish the sociological instinct started to switch over from affinity of nation to emotions of religion and a great nation of subcontinent got divided on ground of religion with partition of Punjab and got emerged into Muslim and Hindu states, Pakistan and India. Hence, it started the fall of Punjabi nation and Punjabi people started to receive the reward of hate and regret from every honourable nation, in addition, the humiliation, loathing, and abuse from Hindi Urdu speaking persons too. This was the punishment of Punjabis for not respecting their motherland, language, culture, and traditions, due to avoiding, ignoring and rejecting the act of unity by natural affinity and attraction of the various tribes, castes and the inhabitants of the Punjab into a broader common Punjabi identity. Therefore, since the partition of British India, socially and politically, the Punjabi nation is a confused, depressed and deprived nation due to dilemma of division of Punjab and Punjabi nation, trauma of massacre of two million Punjabis, and shock of world largest mass migration. Therefore, Punjabis are hanging to relocate their ideology that, the dominant factor of their identity should be their nation. The dominant factor of their identity should be their religion? The dominant factor of their identity should be their state? <inaudible> Revival of Punjabi nationalism After the division of British India with the creation of Pakistan, the Muslim Punjabi community of Punjabi nation and Christian Punjabi community of Punjabi nation opted Pakistan as their state, whereas, the Hindu Punjabi community of Punjabi nation and Sikh Punjabi community of Punjabi nation opted India as their state. Pakistani Muslim Punjabis are the majority population of Pakistan and they have total control on the agricultural sector, trade sector, industrial sector, educational institutions, skilled professions, media organizations, political organizations, civil bureaucracy, the military establishment and foreign affair institutions of Pakistan. However, since the creation of Pakistan, Pakistani Muslim Punjabis have felt uncomfortable and upset due to the insulting attitude and behavior with Pakistani Muslim Punjabis regarding social respect and regard of Punjabi people by the non-Punjabi Muslims, victimization with the Punjabis in Sindh, Karachi, Baluchistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, hurdles in socio-economic stability of the Pakistani Muslim Punjabi community in Pakistan, conspiracies in the prosperity and integrity of Punjab by the non-Punjabi Muslims of Pakistan. Many times, Punjabi nationalists tried to gather and unite the Pakistani Muslim Punjabis for the struggle to achieve the goal of social respect and regard of Punjabi people, for fair treatment with the Pakistani Muslim Punjabis in Sindh, Karachi, Baluchistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, to remove the obstacles in socio-economic stability of Pakistani Muslim Punjabis, to counter the conspiracies in prosperity and integrity of Punjab. However, the effort of uniting Pakistani Muslim Punjabis without stimulating awareness of their Punjabi identity in Punjabi masses and without providing them the consciousness of their Punjabi ideology, the effort of Punjabi nationalists always remained frail, fruitless and useless. However, now it seems that Punjabi nationalists are succeeded in stimulating awareness of Punjabi identity in Pakistani Muslim Punjabi masses, therefore, now Punjabi nationalists are in the struggle to promote Punjabi language, culture, and traditions, along with, demand from government of Punjab to implement Punjabi as an educational and official language of Punjab. But, it is an initial stage. Punjabi nationalists are required to move forward and relocate the ideology of Punjabi nation too. Because, ideology is an orientation that characterizes the thinking of a group or nation and due to becoming clones of Urdu speaking, Gunja Jumna culture, people of UP, CP, Pakistani Muslim Punjabis had lost their characteristic of thinking as a Punjabi and they became addicted to acting as a Pakistani Muslim only by ignoring or withdrawing from their natural Punjabi affinity. As the nation, religion, and state are realities, because their functions, intentions, principles, purposes, reasons, rules, and utilities are different, therefore, now Punjabi nationalists are required to provide the consciousness of Punjabi ideology too, to the Pakistani Muslim Punjabi masses, that 
They are inhabitants of the historic land of five rivers called as Punjab, their language is Punjabi, their culture is Punjabi and they attain the Punjabi traditions, therefore, without discrimination of race, color, creed or religion, they are Punjabi and they are the part of Punjabi nation. That's why, as a Punjabi and being the largest population in the ninth biggest nation and Punjabi-speaking population of the world and the third biggest nation of South Asia, they are supposed to build up the respectable social, economic and political interaction with other religious communities of the Punjabi nation, as well as, political stability, economic growth and social respect of their nation in the worldly life affairs. They follow the teachings of Islam, therefore, without discrimination of race, color, creed or nation, they are Muslim and they are the part of Muslim Ummah. That's why, as a Muslim Punjabi and being the third largest ethnic community in the Muslim Ummah, they are supposed to practice Islam for their moral character building and the spiritual development of the life of the hereafter. Moreover, respectable social, economic and political interaction with other ethnic communities of the Muslim Ummah. They are the citizens of Pakistan, therefore, without discrimination of race, color, creed or nation, they are Pakistani and they are the part of the Pakistani state a state composed of the area of Indus Valley Civilization. That's why, as a Pakistani Muslim Punjabi and being the largest ethnic population in Pakistan, they are supposed to take part in the political stability, economic growth and social respect of their state Pakistan. Furthermore, respectable social, economic and political interaction with other ethnic communities of Pakistan. After division of British India with creation of Pakistan, the Christian Punjabi community of Punjabi nation also opted the Pakistan as their state. Therefore, revival of Punjabi nationalism in the biggest religious community in Punjabi nation, i.e., Muslim Punjabi community of Punjabi nation will directly benefit the Christian Punjabi community of Punjabi nation due to creation of atmosphere and circumstances to accelerate the respectable social, economic and political interaction of Punjabi Muslims with the Punjabi Christians because, both the communities are part of same nation. For the purpose, Pakistani Christian Punjabis are required to determine that, they are inhabitants of the historic land of five rivers called as Punjab, their language is Punjabi, their culture is Punjabi and they attain the Punjabi traditions, therefore, without discrimination of race, color, creed or religion, they are Punjabi and they are the part of Punjabi nation. That's why, as a Punjabi and being the largest population in the ninth biggest nation and Punjabi-speaking population of the world and the third biggest nation of South Asia, they are supposed to build up the respectable social, economic and political interaction with other religious communities of the Punjabi nation, as well as, political stability, economic growth and social respect of their nation in the worldly life affairs. They follow the teachings of Lord Jesus Christ, therefore, without discrimination of race, color, creed or nation, they are Christian and they are the part of Christian Ummah. That's why, as a Christian Punjabi, they are supposed to practice Christianity for their moral character building and the spiritual development of the life of the hereafter, moreover, respectable social, economic and political interaction with other ethnic communities of the Christian Ummah. They are the citizens of Pakistan, therefore, without discrimination of race, color, creed or nation, they are Pakistani and they are the part of the Pakistani state a state composed of the area of Indus Valley Civilization. That's why, as a Pakistani Christian Punjabi and being the largest ethnic population in Pakistan, they are supposed to take part in the political stability, economic growth and social respect of their state Pakistan. Furthermore, respectable social, economic and political interaction with other ethnic communities of Pakistan, the Pakistani Muslim Punjabi community of Punjabi nation and Christian Punjabi community of Punjabi nation are the 60% population of Pakistan and Punjabis has total control on the agriculture cultural sector, trade sector, industrial sector, educational institutions, skilled professions, media organizations, political organizations, civil bureaucracy, military establishment and foreign affair institutions of Pakistan. But, due to only 2% population of India, the Hindu Punjabi community of Punjabi nation and Sikh Punjabi community of Punjabi nation is not in a position to dominate the state of India. However, to participate in the revival of Punjabi nationalism, Indian Hindu Punjabi community of Punjabi nation and Indian Sikh Punjabi community of Punjabi nation is also required to determine their role. 1. As a Punjabi 2. As a Hindu, Sikh Punjabi. 3. As an Indian Hindu, Sikh Punjabi. <laughs> Punjabi nationalists' movements 
In 1947 after partition of Punjab into Indian Punjab state and Pakistani Punjab province there were some several movements for protection of Punjabiyat in both Punjabs. Topic: <laughs> Punjabi nationalism in East Punjab. Punjabi Subha movement was aimed at creation of a Punjabi majority subha province in the Punjab region of India in the 1950s. This movement resulted in Punjabi majority state in India on 1967. There are still cold movements to end discrimination to Punjabi language implemented in Punjabi majority areas like Chandigarh, Haryana, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir and many institutes like schools colleges in Punjab state itself where Punjabi language is ignored. Punjabi language dialects like Borea, Bazagari, Bond, Daha, Gojri, Lahanda, Lubana, Odi, Rai Siki and Sansi are also becoming extinct in Punjab, India. There is Hindi imposition since 1950s and 1960s in state against Punjabi language. Despite a rich heritage of Punjabi literature, Punjabi television serial industry in Indian Punjab has totally disappeared. In 2008 by a landmark decision, the Punjab Government and Punjab Legislative Assembly legislated the Punjab Languages Amendment Act, 2008 to make the study of Punjabi compulsory up to class 10th in government and private schools applying equally to the schools affiliated to the Punjab School Education Board PSEB, Central Board of Secondary Education CBSE, and Indian Certificate of Secondary Education ICSE throughout Punjab and all the official work in the government offices and semi-government institutions would be carried on in Punjabi. All official correspondence and the official work in all colleges and universities in the state would also be carried in the Punjab language. <laughs> Punjabi nationalism in West Punjab In Pakistani Punjab province, Punjabi language movement is a linguistic movement in aimed at reviving the Punjabi language, art, culture and literature in Pakistan. There are several attempts going on by Punjabi society for implementation of Punjabi language as it is completely ignored by authorities in Punjab province. Urdu is preferred medium of education in local schools colleges as well as government paperwork which is very threatening for survival of Punjabi language in Punjab, Pakistan but Urdu is the mother tongue of only about 7.57% Pakistanis. In September 2015, a case was filed in Supreme Court of Pakistan against Government of Punjab, Pakistan as it did not take any step to implement Punjabi language in the province. Punjabi lovers also say that creation of Bangladesh out of Pakistan proves that love of mother tongue is more important than religion. Pakistani Punjabi language film industry is in crisis as filmmakers were not producing Punjabi language films like before 1975 Punjabi films ruled in film industry of Pakistan. Television channels from Lahore, Punjab's capital city, are all in Urdu instead of Punjabi. There is still 150-year-old unofficial ban on education in Punjabi language in Punjab, Pakistan and government is ignorant about it thus compelling Punjabi people to protest. In August 2015, Pakistan Academy of Letters, International Writers' Council IWC, and World Punjabi Congress WPC organized Khawaja Farid Conference and demanded Punjabi University should be established in Lahore and Punjabi language should be declared as the medium of instruction at the primary level. In Lahore, every year thousands of Punjabis gather on International Mother Language Day seeking an end to the 150-year-old ban on education in Punjabi in Pakistan and against Urduization of Punjab. <laughs> 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 Punjab 